Coach, uh, just a statement on the win tonight. Well, it's awfully exciting for our program uh, to get to the NCAAs and then uh, to be able to win our first game. It's uh, quite a credit. Uh, this team and all the other teams before this that uh, have really kind of set a high bar for, for our IT and our hockey program. So we're excited. I'm excited for this team and I'm excited for the whole RIT community, the school, and all the former players. This is, uh, you know, my text messages have been going crazy here and it's uh, very much appreciated from, from everyone that uh, has been involved with our program over a long time. So uh, I'm just happy to be here. We'll open up the student athletes now. Jared Kenshaw from the Schenectady Good Day. You guys were up here yesterday, relaxed, you know, having fun. How important was it to stay relaxed uh, not, and not be nervous going into this game against a December team that's been here before? Uh, it's definitely pretty vital to stay relaxed and have fun out there. I mean, that's our mindset. It's been our mindset this whole entire season. Uh, we know we're playing a game. It's hockey. You're, you're supposed to go out there and have fun with it, and we do that every day in games and practice, on the ice, off the ice. Uh, we just want to have fun with it, and that's what we do. Uh, Nito, U.S. College Hockey. Uh, Jared, if you talk about your development the past couple of years, you went from not playing a whole lot your first two seasons, and now here we are, first two years in one tournament win. Uh, I mean, uh, our program's come a long way. The coaches have done a great do job developing all players at RIT. Um, the, the coaches have been very supportive of myself and our whole entire team. Uh, I mean, everyone develops and gets better every single year. Uh, you look at a guy like Dan Ringwald, he came in as a, as a good player, and I think he's now a great player. And uh, the same can be said uh, for a lot of guys on our team. But, uh, I mean, I feel like our coaches have always been very honest with me. And, uh, I mean, it exudes confidence in myself. And uh, just like I said earlier, you just, we just want to have fun with it. And uh, that's been Coach Wilson's one of his biggest things he's uh, put on me is just to have fun with it. And it's a game, and you can't forget that. Probably the whole chance the NCAA that come. Jerry, you, you, know, you mentioned you guys yourself and, and uh, Dan, when you guys came in when you were freshmen, you, uh, it was the, the first season playing in Atlantic hockey. You, you, you won the regular season, couldn't couldn't go on. The, how much bigger did, you know, uh, for, for the guys in the senior class who didn't have that opportunity before when they when they won the league, how much how, how much bigger did, uh, did this get because of what you couldn't, now that you've had the opportunity and, and done something with it? Yeah, I mean, it is a great opportunity, but at the same time, uh, we lost the opportunity to go out on spring break, so I'm uh, pretty disappointed about that. Um, but I mean, I'd rather be in the NCAA tournament and uh, playing with these guys. Um, it's definitely great. I mean, uh, our first year was tough. All we had was a regular season, um, but we played hard every single game. And uh, I think we were picked at the beginning of the season, second to last, and we came in first. Um, I have no clue how Coach Wilson did not get coached the year that year. It's beyond me. Um, but, I mean, our program's come a long way. Uh, the coaches do a great job. Wayne Wilson, Brian Hills, David Slocko, Mike Tremaine, uh, they do a great job bringing in guys and we get better and better every single year. I'm just going to interrupt. I don't know why he's sucking up here. He's already, <laughs> already knows he's starting them all. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin O'Clubsher from the Democrat and Chronicle. Uh, Cameron, do like, you promise you guys dinner or anything in Detroit? Yeah. <laughs> Should have some plans you may have now, or? Uh, I'm not really thinking about Detroit right now. We had a big game tomorrow against one of these two great teams that are playing uh, right now, actually. So uh, we just want to get a rest, focus on the game tomorrow, and then if we get to Detroit, that's good. But we know we got a, a tough game tomorrow that we got to play, and we got to come up with our hardest. Chris, uh, for you, uh, talk about that first goal. What did you see? Uh, it, was, it looked like it was an interception on a defensive clear. Yeah, I just I just saw that guy coming around the net. And he shot it off the boards. I jumped it, sort of picked it up. Um, there was a lot of traffic in front, so I just, I just shot. Really, I didn't really know where I was shooting. <coughs> went stick side and went, went in. So I'm pretty happy about that. Stick side about halfway up. <coughs> Hi there, I'm Joshua Boyd from USA Junior Hockey Magazine. Um, for Cameron and Jared, you guys played for a lesser fortunate team, uh, the Boston Harbor Wolves years ago. Can you talk about <coughs> your journey from then to now and how big this is going through some tough losses? Well, uh, I actually stuck around the whole year at the Boston Harbor. Was Jared had the chance to go to the USHL, which was very good for him. But, uh, you know, you learn a lot about yourself when you're going through a losing season. You learn how to take a loss and come back the next day. It was really hard. 
uh, going into the rink every day, having a mindset to, to work hard, knowing that your chances of winning that weekend, you know, just from your track record weren't that good. But I mean, I, I really think I learned a lot about myself. Uh, I went to Green Bay and played, um, played with Coach and Slaco there. We didn't have that great of a year there either, but you know, I got to play with some really good guys, and I think my development there was key for my success here in my college career. Uh, yeah, you know, it was it was a tough uh, time when I was there. Uh, you know, our, our team wasn't that good. Uh, not a lot of people expected us to win a lot of games. Uh, it's tough at the same time when a lot of those teams have uh, Division One players already committed and draft picks on their team. Um, but you know, you just got to go the whole season. Our mindset was just like you never know who's at the rink watching. Uh, you know, you got you got to take every single game like it's your last, and you, you just got to have fun with it and hope for the best. And uh, you know, uh, if you play well, good things will happen, and uh, you never know. Uh, Sylvia Schlesi, RIT Sports. Um, this is for all the players, actually. Um, Atlanta hockey doesn't always garner the most respect in uh, Division One hockey, so do you feel like you have to prove that you belong here? Um, I, I, th I don't think we have to prove that. I think we've, uh, to ourselves, we've already proven to ourselves that we are a good team. We know what we can do. Um, I don't know if Atlanta hockey will ever get the respect that they deserve. Uh, I mean, last year, uh, Air Force beat Michigan in the first game. Um, I mean, we beat Denver this year, but I, I don't think it'll ever really matter. Uh, it's just like the same way in NCAA basketball, you know, you, you got those big conferences like Big East and ACC, and then you have the mid-majors. And uh, I mean, eventually we, we hope to be a big program, um, but I mean, it, every single win helps, and hopefully we can keep the ball rolling. Just, just to add to that, I was asked a question yesterday about the whole David and Goliath thing. Uh, we're just 16 teams here right now trying to win a hockey game. I don't really look at conferences. We come out, we put our skates on just like they do, so uh, we just try and go out and win a game. We'll take one more for the student athletes. Did you guys use that underdog thing, though, as motivation or not? I mean, you see the upsets in the basketball tournament, obviously. And not not really. Saying, I mean, I, mean I, I can't pronounce half the players' names on Denver. I didn't know too much about them. I just knew that they were a good team. Um, I mean, our, our team has fun. We don't we don't care who we're playing. We just want to go out there and fun, have fun, play the game the way it's supposed to be played. And uh, I mean, if we win, we win. If we lose, we lose. We just want to give 100% effort for 60 minutes. All right. Thanks, guys. Uh,